Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Carlene's Sight Guys Tarot and I'm excited to welcome you here. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button as well as the gray bell so that you receive the updates. All right guys, this video is on the week ahead and so I'm doing a collective read as well as a, um, a personal read for those of you watching this video. So it's not going to be like, you know, um, it's going to be very, very general, right? So if you would like a personal reading with me, don't hesitate to check the description box below this video. Reach out, connect with me. I'm so happy to work with you, okay? And testimonials of my work are also to be seen on my website, so you can check the description box below for all those links. Alrighty, so let's get started. Um, what I'm picking up, well, of course, this moon has been affecting a lot of us in, in uh, I feel a more benevolent, softer kind of energy rolling through, but um, I'm still fully aware that we're still in the, the birthing process here of whatever it is that we're going through. So while this is a moment, you know, <laughs> a little bit of a lull where things are a little bit more peaceful maybe this week, things are a little bit gentler, a little bit slower, we are moving through ever hardening contractions. So um, let's work with this time, work with this energy, do positive things. But let's see what the read is for the collective and the collective consciousness as well as, um, you know, a little bit of a more personal insight. So the collective read for the week ahead, you guys. I hope you're having a happy Monday. I hope you're having a great start to your day whenever you're watching this, that you had a great start. And I am sincerely wishing us a peaceful, wonderful week ahead because I've had enough. How about you? <laughs> But um, I don't think I don't think we're we're just quite through yet. But let's see, let's see what what comes up. Let's stay positive. Alrighty, collective consciousness for the week ahead. This is what. Oh yeah, of course. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So. Um, the card that's coming up for the week ahead is the star. So there's a lot of hope, right, coming our way. And we're going to find the hope again. We're going to be more, you know, peaceful, focusing on positive things, looking towards positive things, trying to see the good in things, trying to see the, the optimistic point of view in things. And I feel like, you know, we're going to be actively also trying to work with our manifestation abilities with our manifestation consciousness so thinking positively speaking positively calling things into being like we have to be really careful what we articulate and what we say right now or try to be <laughs> and um and i feel like there will be a lot of hope coming in from the spiritual realms from those higher vibrational frequencies from that higher vibrational realm consciousness existence it is coming to the planet earth right now and we are feeling this boon and this blessing and it's a little bit of a reminder of where we truly belong who we truly could be what we could truly live like um what life could feel like you know moving forward so we are getting this blessing this week coming in However, it is not the wish fulfillment. This is what it's not, is the Nine of Cups. And it's not the wish fulfillment that we're looking for, right? So this this card is telling us we're not through it yet. So while we're seeing the end of the tunnel, we still have to go through the tunnel. We still have to walk, continue walking through this darkness in order to reach the other side. Then we have the Two of Swords here. And the Two of Swords has to do with indecision not moving forward right stalemate so uh, that's partially peace <laughs> you know a little bit of what's contributing to the peace is that nobody knows what to believe nobody knows which direction is positive or which direction to go in um, nobody wants to make that move yet so this is a week where things kind of um, stop stall there's no real decision making or real move forward. It's it's just, oof, let's take a breather because it's been so intense these last couple weeks, these last couple energies. Let's take a breather and really refocus on what it is that we're looking for, what it is that we want, what it is that we're moving forward towards, okay? Then the, the outcome or the next step, we'll call it, is the devil. And the devil has to do with all the constructs that we're tied to. So this is really going to show itself right because the next three cards are um aggression the five of swords and news or swiftness and um messages right so with these three cards coming in by the end of the week things are already shifting again okay so um 
I don't want to put anything negative out, out there. But at the same time, the minute we say something is going to be really bad, you know, we've already negated it and it flips into the opposite, right? So our observation does um, play a role in how things play out. But what I'm picking up from these cards is that for the week ahead it's going to be a little bit soft it's going to be a little bit fluffy these first couple of days but as we move towards the end of the week so towards next week towards the 30th beginning of next week um, we're already going to be rolling in different news again which might be more of a negative cycle and um, there might be escalations we might be observing some escalations in certain arenas happening so things picking up speed or intensity or um, moving forward along a more escalative path and um, these these agencies institutions which are top heavy coming down um, there are some new mandates dictates that are going to be put into effect in certain countries and um, we're going to be hearing the news about that so things are going to be picking up speed again but we can take this moment this moment that we're gifted with this this blessing these beautiful few days that we have um, this energy that is coming towards us and just or that we're in right now take a deep breath in refocus realign and remember what it means like to be human what it means like to be good to live in a good community good society good connections with people what it feels like when the sun is shining on your skin <laughs> what it feels like to live in in um in freedom okay so let's have a look at the per more personal reads so let's see this is for those of you watching this video or going to watch this video and uh, the intention is oh by the way by the way this is a um, some of you may have noticed it but this is a protection piece that was um, specifically created and designed for me so it, I feel it suits me very well <laughs> and um, I'm working with a designer a jewelry designer and um, more information will be on my website but these pieces are one-offs they're unique they're specific they're powerful statement pieces as well um, mostly rings right now but we do have pendants as well but they can be programmed for whatever it is that you need to amplify in your life or access in your life or bring into your life right so these are created specifically for you and your energy and um, aligned to you so have a look at the description box below this video I will um, the website the page on my website is going up later on today latest the next day after this video but um, you'll be able to to contact me to um, go through the process of you know finding the right piece for you and then programming it for whatever you desire in your life okay alrighty so let's get um, moving forward here And uh, oh yeah, all the jewelry pieces are, um, they are high quality stones and um, sterling silver, 14 karat gold, that kind of thing. Okay. So only quality on your skin. Okay. So let's have a look at the more personal reads. So those of you watching this video, what's coming up for you? It's coming up and let me just... Mm. And remember you guys to get out into the sunlight get some vitamin d naturally created not just through supplements okay wherever you are get out into the sun tank as much sunlight as you can um do things like naturally you know like it doesn't take much zinc vitamin d3 uh, magnesium is really good especially if you're going through like a little bit of a lull a little bit of low magnesium really helps re regulate your gut flora helps you to sleep better helps balance out it's actually the depression killer so if you haven't heard about magnesium that works for your low emotional states check it out there's so much information on the internet like all these um even on on established published health sites <laughs> where they clearly state that magnesium can replace pharma right so go for it you don't have to live in this this state of being and magnesium is like everywhere right so check it out okay anyways getting to your personal read the more personal side of the week ahead let's have a look
what's coming up for people personally please for the week ahead and we'll just have a look through all four you know elements of life so health wealth happiness and joy <laughs> um finances relationships health you know that kind of thing okay so we have the four of wands coming up so it really is a week those of you watching this where there may be something celebrated in your life you may be some, uh, celebrating something but it's also a feeling of connection right some of you that have been wondering where do i belong who do i belong with um what's my place where should i be in the world all of a sudden it just falls into place for you this week where you feel suddenly like oh this is it. I'm, I'm like, this is, I'm exactly where I'm meant to be. I'm exactly doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm, if I weren't supposed to be here, I wouldn't be here. And it's that simple, really, right? So with the four of wands coming up, you've got this um, time for celebration, this time for um, just really acknowledging, accepting, realizing, welcoming in this feeling of being in a sense of belonging, right? Some of you may be looking at community endeavors. You may be going into eco farming or, you know, looking at things like that, that have to do with the uh, community. And um, you may be looking at renovating your home, um, cleaning your home, doing stuff like things around the home. So I see a lot having to do with home and belonging. These themes seem to be coming up for you guys this week. What it's not is there's no longer any battle, inner battle with you, right? So this really is about acceptance. This is sliding into acceptance and recognizing this is where I belong. This is what I should be doing. And this inner battle that has been going on, these inner voices that have been in conflict, pulling you in all kinds of different directions, um, possibly different... Um, different ideas right different ideologies different voices from friends family community you name it that have been in the back of your mind kind of influencing how you feel about where you are or what you're doing this is all going to dissipate right so it's one clear voice that is giving you a sense of okay i'm right where i am and we need this sense of being right where we are in order to put down roots in order to grow in order to get anything accomplished right so if we're constantly looking for the right space to be in right and we're not acknowledging where we are then it's it's an energy suck it's a little bit of an energy drain we have to <laughs> these are the times where you know it's not really about travel right now it's really about putting down your roots accepting where you are and saying okay i'm here let's get to work right so your most likely next step this week is the queen of wands <laughs> talk about get to work <laughs> And I have the cards face down. I'm only flipping them up as I, I pull them up for you and um, allowing intuition just to flow into the message because like this is, you know, we're talking about work and the Queen of Wands is a hard worker, right? And um, she makes work look easy. She just steps out there, does her thing, you know, and moves with intuition, moves with grace, moves with the flow, right? Is very in the flow of things. So it's really... Um, you're feeling really confident this week. You're feeling like, you know, you're in the flow, you're in this vibe, you're you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you're in the place that you're supposed to be, you're feeling connected, and um, you're starting to shine. You're starting to <sighs> emanate that, and it's good. The outcome card is options are going to be opening themselves up to you. <laughs> so these might also be romantic options. For those of you that are single and looking, it feels like there are a lot of doors or a lot of pathways that are revealing themselves, opening themselves up to you. But those of you that are looking for work, for jobs, likewise, right? So put yourself out there. Put your, if you're looking for something new, put your resume out to as many as you can. And then select which ones you want right which which options you want to further pursue so there is this card is a really special card and I feel like it's um, really downplayed a lot with um, focusing on pink colored glasses you know um, fantasy worlds and these kind of interpretations for me it's 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 really about the power of choice right and it's not a choice in a mental rational sense it's this emotional choice right and coming to terms with your choices coming to terms emotionally with the choices that you make so we can come to terms logically and say that was the best thing I could have done and that was the only thing that came up for me right that was what I needed to do but emotionally we can still hang back 
tag along, look over her shoulders, you know, be bitter about things, so on and so forth. So this card is really, really, really powerful, the Seven of Cups, because it shows that, you know, um, there's actually an eighth choice to be made, right? But we're not looking at that. But we do in the Eight of Cups, right? Where it's about ourselves. We choose ourselves. We walk away from all these choices that present themselves in the outer world. And we turn to the inner world and look for inner satisfaction, inner happiness, because the Ninth Cup is inside, right? So this is the point, the turning point. So this is, this is really, this is to me it's become a really important card and that's why it's the number seven as well and very mystical right because it's not something that's really tangible on this level i can explain it to you you know and you might still be in your mind about things yeah but i made a logical choice and i'm, I'm, I'm speaking about the emotional choices that we make in life right so the outcome is a the tower right this is the advice card actually the outcome was the seven of choice the tower and the tower has to do with leaving behind everything you thought you knew and making room for God, allowing God to enter into your life, into your um, realm, into your being. And um, I speak about this a lot with the breath work that I do in my videos. Those of you that have been watching me for some time, you know. And um, it, it's really allowing everything you thought you believed in, everything you thought you knew to crumble and fall. Oh. And this is the, the second advice card that came up. I, I can't make this up. I just flipped it over and here I see, this is for me divine guidance, right? So this is angelic and divine guidance and um, guidance coming from the Holy Spirit, from the divine, from that, right? And learning to walk in a new world, right? So those of you watching this video, this is what I feel is coming up for you this week, is that you're going to finally um, a feel a sense of belonging and it's not just belonging in your family and your community now that these two cards have come up it's a belonging in the world at this time and um, so many of us have been running away or trying to find our way out or saying I don't belong here or I don't know what I'm doing here or I don't know why I was incarnated here and so on and so forth we're going to drop that talk we're going to drop that talk and we're going to accept, acknowledge, and recognize that we're here for a purpose and a reason, and that we are right where we are meant to be, and that we belong here on this planet during this time. And this is powerful because when we accept that, we can open ourselves up to divine guidance. Okay, so I'm here. You dropped me here, right? Out of the parachute, out of the plane, SEAL Team 6, whatever, and I'm down on the ground. <sighs> Come in right what are the orders where am i going right and we can finally do that and in order to hear those orders we have to make an emotional choice to hear that order we have to make an emotional choice to tune into the divine to god and allow that to flow through us and so we are going to do that we are going to strengthen our intuition because what the queen of wands is known for is intuition and we're going to allow that voice to come through right and we're going to drop everything we think we know about our life who we are what we're doing here where we belong or we don't belong we're going to simply accept this is it i'm here <sighs> what do you want me to do right and really step into service now there there's another direction of service right so we talk about service to self and service to other a lot of times right and we have these two groups that are opposing and both are growing in certain you know into certain dimensions but after a certain dimension only service to other can can proceed but after that, there is another dimensions above where only service to higher or service to the divine or service to God can proceed. So it's not just about service to the outside, right? And um, because there's that again, when we serve others, like whom are we really serving? Why are we really serving others? And so on and so forth. So there's that other that we don't really talk about, which is service to divine. And this is what is starting to awaken in so many of us. And um, we're recognizing that we're actually in, in even deeper service than we thought we were. Okay, I'll leave it at that. Meditate on that. Sit with that. Breathe with that. And use this positive energy that we're entering into the week with to create something positive in yourself and your world. You guys, God bless. Take care. Goodbye.